Hi everyone, welcome to Kitu Blogging and in this video I will show you how you can set the default grid mode in your Flitro Pro theme. So as you can see that I am using the Flitro Pro version 6.0 and here this is the grid mode here and if I click on here this is the list mode. But in mobile devices the list mode doesn't look good and in Flitro Pro by default in mobile view it loads with the list view. This is the list view here. So we need to change the default mode to the grid mode so that it will looks better in mobile devices. So how we can change this to default grid mode in mobile devices? Let's check in this video. So this process will be a little bit complicated. So follow this video till the end. And if you have any doubt, you can ask me in the comment section. And if you found this video helpful, then make sure to hit the like button. So let's check how we can do that. So here I have divided the process into four steps. So before proceeding further, you need to take a backup of your theme code. So here I will use this website to show you how you can change this default grid mode in your Flutro Pro theme. So first of all, we need to go to the blogger dashboard and go to the theme section here and make sure to take a backup of your theme code so that in case if you do any mistake, you can easily restore it to the previous version. So after taking the backup, let's click on the edit HTML. Now here you need to follow the step one. So in step one, we need to find the body tag here. So what I can do is I will type like control plus F and I will type like less than body like this. And this is the body tag. And here you will see this option body class id main content so you need to hit enter here and you need to add a code after the body tag so i will provide all the code link in the description so you can easily get this code so let me just copy this code from here and i will paste the code here like this now let's move on to the second step here and in second step you need to find this option post mode grid mode so what i can do is i will scroll to the start and i will again type ctrl plus f and search for grid mode like this and i will hit enter to find that html code here it is as you can see that this is the data view it's multiple items and here a deep class post mode on click grid mode so we need to find this code so if we are using different version of literal flow theme then the class and id may be a different but the process will be same so here you will see like grd mode or something like this so you need to find the class according to your version you are using in Flutro pro so here you need to change one thing so here you will see this option class list add grid mode and class list dot remove grid mode so we need to swap this add and remove here so this is the remove and this is the add so we need to change the add to remove so i can do that so i can simply type remove here and here in this section dot remove i will change it to dot add so this is the simple changes you need to do in this script here in this grid mode uh, deep class so as you can see that i have explained everything here in the second step so you need to change this first add to remove and then second remove to add so you need to do the changes here and if you are using different version then the this class may be different a little bit now let's find the third step so here this is the additional javascript section so you can simply search for additional javascript so what I can do is I will scroll down all the way to the bottom and scroll up a little bit and here it is. This is the additional javascript and here you need to ch change the same thing like this. So this is the function dark mode. So let's hit enter here. This is the function of dark mode and then let's search for the function of grid mode. Here it is function of grid mode and let's search for the next function. This is function resize header on scroll. As you can see that we have extracted this function file for grid mode and we need to do the same changes here as well. So here you can see that dot class list dot add and dot class list dot remove. So we need to swap the same thing in the step three as well. As you can see that the remove will comes first and the add will comes second. So what I can do is I will change this add to remove and I will change this remove to add like this 
as you have done in the html section as well so you need to change the both javascript file in second step and third step now let's move on to the fourth step here and here you need to make some changes in the css code as well so what i can do is i can simply search for this option grid mode so here you need to search for the media screen max width to 480 pixels so this is the size of mobile screen so we need to find this section in the css code so what i can do is i will scroll off to the first here and i will type control plus f and i will hit grid mode as you can see that the first css code section here this is the grid mode so this code will apply to the desktop version so we need to scroll below here and as you can see that here the max width is 1100 pixel so we will scroll down a little further and here the max width is 896 pixel and then let's scroll down here and here is the max width to 640 pixel so let's scroll down a little bit further and here it is so here the max width is 480 pixel as you can see that so this is the media screen that apply to 480 pixel screen size so here we need to make some changes here so this is the grid mode blog post calculate 100 percent plus 15 pixel so we need to change something in the second line here so this is the width calculate 100 percent so in, as you can see that by default it is taking the 50 percent so we need to change this to 100 percent like this so i can do that here let me remove it to 100 percent and let's move on to the second here you need to make some adjustment in a little further like here in the post header title info we need to change the font size to 14 pixels so it will fit properly in the mobile size so i can do that so let here the font size is 14 pixel here and here you can also change the font size in the post title to 17 pixels so these are optional settings if you don't want to do this then you can skip the step 4 you can keep the step 1 to 3 as it is and you can skip the step 4 as well if you don't want to change the styling now here in the grid most post title to font size to 70 pixel so let me just change the font size to 17 pixel as well like this now let me just save the changes so make sure to follow the step 1 2 3 properly and if you want to make the changes in the styling then you can follow the step 4 as well okay now we have done all the ch changes here let's go to the website and let me just refresh this page and you can see that there is no changes in the desktop version and let me just inspect it in the mobile view and you can see that it is loading this mobile screen in the grid mode so let me just quickly refer remove the cookies data here like this and let me just reload it again now let me just scroll down here and as you can see that it is by default loading in the grid mode in mobile devices so earlier it is loading in the list view in mobile now it is loading in the grid view so you can confirm it by opening the same website in incognito mode so let me just copy the url here and let's go to the incognito mode and let's paste it here like this and it is loading the grid view in desktop so let's click on inspect here and as you can see that the same grid view is loading in mobile as well so in this way you can set the grid mode to permanent or set the grid mode to default in the flitro pro theme so if you are using Flitro Pro 6.1 then the process will be same you need to swap the add and remove like this in the step 2 and step 3 and the CSS class or the grid mode class will be a little bit different like this so it will be something like GRD mode or something like that so you need to check your class in this version so this is how you have to make the changes to set the grid mode to default in filter pro theme so if you have any doubt regarding this then you can ask me in the comment section and if you found this video helpful then make sure to hit the like button